Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a kind of a weird vlog because there's a lot of footage over the last month that I had continued vlogging every week and as you guys know with the loss in our family stuff kind of got disrupted but I still have all of that content and I wanted to share that content with you guys because you guys all want to still see that content which is just mind-boggling to me. So that is what this vlog is going to be. <laughs> Before I get into all the stuff you guys missed over the last month with us, I do want to say a special thank you to today's sponsor for this video, and that is HelloFresh. You guys know I love HelloFresh. Our whole family loves HelloFresh. Wyatt actually asked me the other day, which is what spurred this collaboration, he was like, when are we going to work with HelloFresh again? I really like their meals. So. That is what we're doing today, is we're gonna make some HelloFresh before we get into the video. HelloFresh has been a company that I have worked with for years now and also was a customer for years of because they just have really good meals. Not only do the ingredients come fresh, never frozen to your door, but you can choose from all sorts of different meal plans. So whether you have a smaller family or a family of four, or if you have vegetarians in your family or you're more carnivores or you like fish, they can accommodate a whole ton of different palates, which I really, really enjoy. I love HelloFresh because not only does it save me from having to go to the grocery store, but it also gives me more inspiration to cook things because all of the menus are so easy to follow if you want to save them in a little binder, which I did for a while, and then go back and shop for those ingredients in your store and then make those menus later. So having HelloFresh meals sprinkled throughout the week has been great for not only me and John, but also the kids. This time around, we are trying the vegetarian meals because as you guys know, I have a little mini vegetarian in the house other than steak and sloppy joes and tacos. I don't know, she's a selective vegetarian. I'm gonna cook one of them tonight. I guess we'll just have the kids kind of pick which one they want. We have mushroom and soy ramen, which the kids love ramen, so maybe that's a good one to make. I have lemon za'atar and grilling cheese. And then we have one pot spicy coconut curry stir fry, which I'm actually kind of leaning towards this because it looks really good and John's giving me a thumbs up. So um, I'm super excited. Thank you so much HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. I do have a coupon code for you guys, which I will leave here and also a link to get a discount for you if you want to try it out. I know a lot of people are happy HelloFresh customers and we are one of those, four of those, five of those people. I'm going to try something that I saw on TikTok because, you know, I'm always curious if the stuff that I watch is actually doing something for my brain. It's probably not. Cut the top of the pepper like so. Then they sliced that down the thingies. I already feel like this isn't gonna work. <laughs> I feel like I'm already butchering it and don't really know. And then, oh, <gasps> it worked. I'm like amazed right now. Holy cow. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. Okay, TikTok. Maybe the hours upon hours I spend on TikTok aren't completely useless. Oh, that one came out a little bit messier, but still, that's amazing. Everything is diced, just ready for my water to be done boiling, and then I will add the noodles and start mixing everything. I'm not sure what the dog's doing over there. Here it is. It smells so good and it was so simple to make. Oh, I'm excited. Best part is I didn't have to go to the grocery store for it. What do you think, Wyatt? It's delicious. What, <laughs> what was that pause for? For dramatic effect? That's what I was gonna say. <laughs> All right, what's today? Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. I am on my way to take Kaya to school. John took Wyatt on his way out of town for work. Ava's at her dad's house. It's another hot ass fall day. It's not fall yet. I want it to be fall, but it's not fall yet technically. It's the middle of September. I think the last day of summer is in like the like a few days, right? September 20th or something like that. I'm ready for summer to be done. <laughs> I'm ready for my cooler weather. I just, I'm one of those people who loves all of our seasons. But anyways, I'm getting off track. I'm taking Kai to school. Okay, so I do this thing where after I get home, I don't know why I do this. It's like this just habit I have formed, but that's the wrong door. 
I do this stupid habitual thing where I grab my phone and I check my emails and I check messages and all of that like right when I pull into my driveway. I don't know why I do this. I think I've just trained myself to take that time after I like come home from somewhere. Cause I'm used to my kids and John all being in the house at our old house where I had no privacy. I'm so used to there just being so many people and noises in my home and again, lack of privacy that I'm used to just like taking a minute to myself and like, I don't know, just killing time on my phone or checking or working or just sitting. So like now we live in this house that's obviously big enough for privacy and my kids are all in school. John's out of town right now. I looked up from my phone and when I saw that an hour had passed and I was still sitting in my freaking car in front of my empty freaking house. Oh my gosh. I've never been so disappointed in myself. It's just that again, like for the last, what, 12 years? We lived in a 1500 square foot house with five people and a dog and adults all working from home in the last year and a half everyone was home every day and I just my body is just like stay in the car stay in your safe space and yeah I'm not used to this whole like a people not being home and b living in a home again where I actually have privacy but anyways I am home there's a gnat in my house all right so I got my video edited which I feel like was like record speed I don't come off in it very well. Like, I definitely <laughs> might be a little bit too comfortable with you guys because I, in all those moments that you kind of are like, maybe I shouldn't like do this in front of other people when it comes to like parenting or venting or things like that. Kind of did some of that in this video. Oh, well. Anyways, that is up on the channel right now. Oh my God, look at Nuno. Can she be living any better right now? Save. Ah, sh I don't care. I don't care anymore. I don't care anymore. I'm such a terrible, I'm so terrible. You think at 12, after 12 years I'd be better at this? I'm really not. Don't tell anyone, but I'm not. Ugh. Oh well. Oh well. Oh well. It's like insanely embarrassing how bad I am still at this whole vlogging situation. Uh, Oh, it's just Target letting me know that something went on sale that I don't need. <clears throat> Public. Are you making fun of your sister for? Your old crush that you already know. Oh, your old crush? He's, I don't even like him anymore. He's not even in my class. He's not in your class. I liked Jace. He was a sweet kid. I liked his he mom too. Soccer. Yeah, he was on your soccer team. Kids are home from school. I just got home from picking them up. I think gonna have snacks. Hello. Five zero, so I'll be home at five thirty-five. Okay. Hi, what's <sighs> up? Oh, nothing. So I was trying to keep it a surprise for you, but apparently they needed is. they need to email you a document to sign. So Toyota is lending us a Lexus. For a week to drive around. Where? They're dropping it off tomorrow afternoon. Oh. 
it's they're the ones who are sponsoring the zoo to do. So part of it is oh. also us driving around Alexis for yeah. a week. So, oh. yeah. Lay down. Georgie, lay down. Georgie, lay down. There you go. Nuna, roll over. No. Nuna, roll over. Roll over. Good girl. You can have yours. Ow! Georgie, ah! Georgie, nope. Georgie, come here. Lay down. Georgie, lay down. Georgie, touch. Nope. Touch. Georgie, touch. Should touch. Come here. <laughs> Georgie, come here. Touch. You're that baby that we forgot about. <laughs> you can get the proper training. Guys, it's Taco Tuesday. What, what? I just, so I just ran about a mile and a half in about 15 minutes, which is not a great time by any means at all. I usually, when I'm feeling really good about myself, when before my injury, I could run a mile in like seven to eight minutes, like a 5K. <sighs> <laughs> I'm dying. But since my knee surgery, as some of you know, I haven't been able to run up until last week. And I did a half a mile, and then I did a mile on Monday, and now I'm at over a mile and a half now. So I'm feeling pretty good about myself and the fact that I feel like I'm dying. But I feel pretty good about the fact that I'm getting better and I'm getting back to the sports and things that I love doing, which is exercise, golf, running, Volleyball, things like that. So, anyways. Oh. Ha. Ho. So they dropped off the car a couple hours ago and it's pretty sexy, I gotta say. I love the sportiness to it. We've been home for a while, barbecued, everything like that. Kids got to check out the new car, which they're super excited about. And then I told them that we weren't keeping it and then they were super depressed. <laughs> but yeah, John just brought in this box for me and this is kind of how my life goes sometimes. I do tend to get some pretty neat PR boxes and then some of them I'm like, I don't really know what this is. But it showed up on our doorstep and John brings it in already like, oh, open and goes, I don't know what this is, open this. There's dry ice on top, which I just removed, and I don't really know what this is, but I feel like it's a moment that I need to maybe film, just in case it's something like horrible and dangerous that's gonna pop out at me, because John's giving me this look like there's something in here. I don't know what it is. It's what? really important. It look is? how much trouble it went through. Dry ice, Get styrofoam long All right, bottles. so there's dry ice right here. All kinds of stickers. There's lots of stickers. This is, what is it? I mean, it's like one... What is it? Uh, what? It... What do you think that is? Look how much trouble they went through for that. I don't... What? I don't know. They, yeah, they do have a lot of stickers. What is it? I'm scared. Is it heavy? What is it? That's all it is, that little thing. What is it? You tell me. Open it up. Uh, well, I don't know what it is. Oh, my gosh. It's a damn damn popsicle. <laughs> All that for a popsicle? <laughs> no, 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 no. Two popsicles. Two popsicles. <laughs> what? This is what's terrifying. Is like I don't even know what kind of popsicles what is this? they are. Okay, Look why? at this. A box, styrofoam lined, dry ice, little topper. Got all these stickers. Keep frozen, perishable. What the hell? Danger. Dry ice. Use protective gloves. And I, I don't know what the heck are we doing in this world now. <laughs> this is how we send popsicles to people? It says, it's not even like a full box of popsicles. No, it's two. Two popsicles. What? And it doesn't even say what kind of popsicle. <laughs> Just open one. <laughs> There's nothing. Who not not like, oh, enjoy these. Ooh. Is there like a card inside the popsicle? Is it just a straight up popsicle? Yeah, but like it's unlabeled. Is like, it a Dove bar? I don't want to even like. That kind of looks it. like a Dove bar. It says Oops. Expo East Virtual Week Contactless Week Samp. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? You could, could die. Explode. <laughs> like anything poisonous in it? Is it still frozen? Oh, God. It could it's be frozen solid, isn't it? Popsicle. <laughs> All that trouble. And you know what? It was sitting in the garage for like three or four hours. Oh. Oh. It's still frozen solid, <laughs> isn't it? Dry ice can that like... did a great job. Like Brass right your hands Yeah, off. don't touch it. It'll burn. Yeah, that dry ice is doing That's a little good. That's not good at all. Well, we maybe need, don't need to publish the 
expo part. <laughs> <laughs> it's Thursday. Kids have been at school for a while. Got to drive the new car. Wyatt loves it. He wants us to buy it. <laughs> we can't do that. Um, but it definitely makes me want a new car. Like, I'm realizing how crappy my other cars are. But right now, I just got done doing some work and going through all the school papers that come home all the time. And now I'm ordering Kaya and Wyatt some Scholastic books. Who remembers Scholastic? I love that you can order online now, by the way. It's so much simpler than, like, sending in this paper thing and then making sure the kids send the check to the right person and all of that. But Kaya is a voracious reader, so is why. Actually, all three of my kids. One thing I implemented into them early was reading. Whether it was me or John was reading to them, or they started reading on their own. Like, they pretty much know that if they want a book, I'm not going to say no. Because <laughs> I think reading is really important for children. I grew up just, like, devouring books. So, anyways... Scholastic gets me every time because I will spend 40 to $50 on new books for the kids because that's just who I am. I like that they read and both my kids are like, I like the feeling of books. I don't want to read it on a Kindle. And I get that because I'm the same way. So anyways, if you have any suggestions for kids books, let me know. Kaya reads at like a fourth to fifth grade level, even though she's in third grade. So it's kind of hard because I need to like find age appropriate books for her, but that are challenging. And then Wyatt uh, reads at a pretty advanced age as well. He's in sixth grade, but he reads at probably a high school level. So again, it's like finding appropriate books that are still challenging. Uh, that's what I'm doing right now. Hi mama, what you doing? You comfy? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, big stretches. All right, so I've done a terrible job of vlogging this week, but John and I are on our way to the zoo to do, and I'm excited, a little bit nervous. I haven't been out like around people, people very regularly, so this should be fun though. It should, it should, it should be, it should be fun. Are you excited? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited for just a nice outlook. All I'm right, also cool. I'm also a little nervous because the dress that I chose has like sleeves. It's short, but it might get a little hot. I was kind of hoping today would be a little bit cooler. The last few evenings have been super cool, and then suddenly it's like, nope, we're gonna be 90 degrees at six o'clock. So I have all of the mattifying setting spray on my face that I could muster, and. I have a mattifying, oil-free primer on, so we will just hope that my makeup doesn't greasify off my face. And I have a lot of hairspray in my hair right now, even though it's just straight. But I'm excited, this'll be fun. John and I haven't done, well, I guess we went to the 90s concert, but we've not done like a fancy thing ever together, so, yep. so this'll be fun. No, what fancy thing did we do together other than getting married? Kids. That's, kind of fancy. That's not fancy. That's like the opposite <laughs> of fancy. Guys, I have done horribly at vlogging. Sorry. But to make up for that, I'm gonna show you guys our new furniture which just came today. This is another fun thing that happened. We ordered furniture back in March after my knee surgery. We were very much anxious to get our furniture because nobody sat in here because we had like used furniture that wasn't very like, it wasn't great seating. So it came today, the delivery people were really awesome and I had forgotten what the furniture looked like but I actually really love it so yeah, hopefully crossing fingers at last. I've complained about this before, but we bought new furniture two years ago that's now upstairs in the kids' common room, and like furniture's just not made the same. Like I swear, the difference between the furniture we bought seven years ago versus the furniture that we bought two years ago, the older furniture is holding up great. It's in the sunroom, we love it, it's comfortable. The other furniture that's newer just fell apart so fast. So that's why it's kids' furniture now. Hopefully this furniture holds up, I'm hoping but at least it's here. So we got a chair and a half. It's this like really fuzzy, oh, there's why, fuzzy comfortable, like almost like chenille fabric with like mixed with corduroy. Like it's not, I don't know, it's really soft. I really like that. So this is like a huge chair and a half. Uh, and then I didn't get the ottoman, which I'm kind of kicking myself over, but the ottoman was really big and I felt like it would just kind of take up too much of the room. We got a sofa, that ottoman was already here. I got that off of Facebook Marketplace. And actually the blanket I got a long time ago while we were at our old house matches the throw, cushion, uh, throw pillows that came with the stuff. So that actually was nice, but we have 
that set up this way. I think I'm gonna get like a little end table for over there. And then I'm planning to do one of those little like back of the sofa console, the DIY. I might build one out of wood to put, now that lumber prices are finally going down. I might build one to go behind here so that way people have places to set their drinks and stuff and maybe do like an outlet so that you can like plug in here. But something that's just like five or six inches deep to sit like between the wall and the sofa because there's really no room to put an end table there. And then we have this love seat over here, which that was something that John and I kept debating whether to put the big seat there or there or there. But I think I like it here. It just offers a different like perspective to sit if you don't wanna watch TV. And then it also leaves room for us to have a Christmas tree in here, which y'all know, since we didn't celebrate Christmas the traditional way last year because our house was up for sale and when we were doing showings, we're gonna go big for Christmas this year. Yeah, everyone has a place to sit now. Before we only had like this really narrow sofa which is now in the basement in here and uh, it just wasn't very comfortable for multiple people to sit and watch TV or even have a conversation. Oh, there's a fruit fly in my house. It's fruit fly season. Uh, oh, and John moved the old chair that was in there into his office. Took our last drive in the car. I'm gonna be very sad to see this car go. It is a very fun car to drive, I will not lie. It is Wednesday. Maybe it's Thursday. I think it's Wednesday. Is it Wednesday? Yeah, it's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. I woke up with a raging migraine. I think it's because this weather <laughs> it went from being like really hot and muggy to 50s, which I'm not complaining about the coolness because I love it. But it went to 50s and just like storming down rain. We lost power last night. Luckily, I went to bed at like 9, so I didn't really notice the power outage. But long story short, <clears throat> I get seasonal migraines during the fall, so I kind of have to be careful when the weather gets all wonky like this because if I ignore them, then I can go from being perfectly fine to throwing up nonstop all day long. So I took it easy this morning, but I'm definitely having one of those days where I just don't feel like being an adult. It hence me eating giant Fruit Loops. They're like my favorite snack. They're so unhealthy and they're so overly priced, but they're so good. It's like my childhood in a bag. My office is a disaster right now. I'm not even gonna show you. It's embarrassing. Yeah, I'll show you. There's like a dead plant or dying plant in the middle. There's so many returned back to Amazon. There's dog beds everywhere. There's dogs. PR packages, bags everywhere. But look, our new furniture looks nice in the other room. Um, ah, there's a lot of stuff I need to do and clean. And my walk-in closet's a disaster. All right, I'll show you guys my closet because it's disgusting. Don't judge me, okay? I just let it get really bad. This is the first time it's ever gotten this bad since we moved in, but it just got really bad. I wanted to just explain real quick, because as I'm sitting here editing this video, I didn't really know what to expect out of all this footage. Uh, there is a gap of time from where we're leaving off in September. We're in like September 22nd uh, to footage that you're about to see, which was filmed, uh, I want to say a week and a half ago, two weeks ago. So um, we left off on that Wednesday. I had the little migraine, whatever. Um, the following day, that Thursday, the 23rd, we got the news that John's dad had unexpectedly passed away. Um, so we did take time for ourselves, not vlogging or filming, really. I did share some stuff on Patreon just because I needed to get some feelings out um, and a little bit on Instagram. But for the most part, we kind of just hunkered down and did what is involved with losing a parent um, and we're still kind of doing that a little bit too so uh, there is a weird block of time where I didn't film and that's kind of what you're about to see is that to then and um, the trip that you're about to see us going to Fort Wayne that was a work trip so John's dad's funeral actually wasn't until the following week after the trip so a few weeks ago I know this time jump is kind of confusing um, but we went on that trip because the kids needed to have fun. We needed to ha have some, something with the kids. And it was, again, also a work trip that I was obligated to go on. Um, when you lose somebody, finances can be strained a little bit. So it was something that we needed to do for us, for our finances. 
Um, and again, it was more importantly something that we needed to do for our family just to kind of get out of the funk that we were all in. So um, yeah, it's a little confusing, but that's kind of what happened in that block of time. And if I'm sporadic here or I have been, it's because I haven't filmed actually like all of those older videos. I hadn't filmed in a long time because again, we've just been um, going through what we've been going through. So yeah. seem to be thoroughly enjoying yourselves. I woke up before I everyone else. I, I didn't mean to. I, I had a great eat. sleep. And then I, the only, <laughs> Ava and I woke up It is Saturday morning. We've had kind of a rough few weeks. You guys know if you follow me on my Patreon, especially uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you also know kind of what's going on. Um, but this weekend, we are taking a break from everything and we are out in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Um, they reached out and wanted us to come out and kind of experience all the new stuff that they've been doing in this area and their new hotel, the Bradley Hotel. Uh, Vera Bradley is huge in this area. They're actually based out of this area. I grew up knowing Vera Bradley as Bible, quilted Bible covers. I was telling everyone else this. You knew you made it at our church, like you had money and were the cool girls if you had the quilted bible covers that had like the pockets for stuff i never had one <laughs> but everyone else did uh but that's how i do them and then i saw the bags and i believe ann arbor had like a vera bradley store at their mall that i walked through a couple times but they opened up a hotel and the hotel is actually very beautiful so we're here to stay at the hotel for two nights and because just kind of explore some of you guys know this already, but John and I met while he lived in Fort Wayne. He lived here for like nine years, right? And I actually met his parents here, so it's kind of a weird timing to be back here, but it also feels really good in a lot of ways to come back and reconnect with some friends and all of that and see kind of what's been going on here. So, uh, so far we have gone to the Clyde. It's this really awesome restaurant music venue slash bakery, ice cream, dessert, coffee place. <laughs> kind of want to go back to get some coffee or eat breakfast there because everything looks so delicious and our dinner was amazing. Uh, but we did that last night and then we went to the landing, which is a downtown area that is, you know, it's on a street, but you, it's the street part where the restaurants and bars are facing now are just for pedestrians, which is really cool. And you can walk around and you know, find restaurants and bring your dogs and your kids and whatever. So we stopped by there after and had some drinks and it was just right around the corner walking distance from the uh, hotel and met up with one of John's friends and his daughters to catch up with him because we hadn't seen him in a couple months. And yeah, it was a really beautiful evening, perfect weather and just a really good time. And uh, yeah, now we're just kind of exploring. Why it's always been obsessed with cats. <laughs> still over here with the cat? Do you want to pick out some books? What? Found you. Where's John? A bon me barista. Got a beef something salad, some chicken pho. We're sp splitting with Kaya, and she was digging the salad. You like it? Blanket, blanket, blanket. 
All right, let it soak in. All right, guys, so we are back in the hotel. It's only 8.40, but we are so stinking exhausted. So we were given a list of like things and places to eat and things to do while we were here. And the things that we, of course, chose to do and the places we chose to go to eat earlier today were either closed or moved. So we had to like drive around town a bunch. It wasn't a big deal. John's pretty familiar with this area because he lived here for so long, but the kids kind of got a little bit stressed out and um, yeah, we're, we're tired. <laughs> But anyways, it was kind of a blur of a day. Sorry, this is a weird vlog. You guys know with everything going on, I'm just having a really hard time processing our weekend. Like we're supposed to be away and enjoying our time with the kids and being a happy family. But at the same time, we get text messages every once in a while for John's dad's memorial. And then it kind of pulls us back into reality of what's been going on in our lives. And then, yeah, and then I don't know how to be on camera here because if you saw my live stream on Instagram and if you are one of my patrons on Patreon, this has all been really hard for me and emotionally I've just been like up and down and up and down and I just don't know how to be, I don't know how to be completely happy and joyful all the time here. So I'm trying my best. I appreciate you guys being patient with me, but um, I think this trip was, even though it's been kind of tiring and exhausting, it's been so good for us because we have been able to spend time just with the kids and we've been able to kind of take ourselves away from what's been going on, which has been nice for the most part. Like I said, there's a few times where like text messages or family conversations that we're a part of pull us back in, but it, I'm glad we came and the hotel is very beautiful and um, everyone's been super nice and again the club at the Clyde room I can't speak highly enough about them the experience is just amazing like the kids are like can we just go back there for dinner can we just go back there they had so much fun the food tasted good the like environment was really nice and their server was great and just every we just felt very like it just was a really good time so unfortunately I'm gonna close on Sundays else we would go back tomorrow I'm gonna see double check but um, it was just really nice to have some like good times with the kids and the family and stuff. So anyways, it's not even nine. The kids have been in their room resting for the last 46 minutes, just getting like some alone time because we did go and get ice cream at Sweets on Main, which I highly suggest. It's our favorite ice cream place so far, but we went there and came back uh, and the kids, you know, hung out with us for a little bit in our room and then they went to their room. but. I'm gonna get ready for bed and then I'm gonna go tuck the kids in and then we're gonna go to sleep because I am exhausted, John is exhausted and <sighs> yeah. Checked out of the hotel. Oh, Kai got hot chocolate on her. Got her coffees. So this is Promenade Park in Fort Wayne. We have a lot of construction going on, restaurants going in, exciting stuff downtown. Our area is doing something like this as well. It's super exciting to see the Midwest start growing the way that it is. But yeah, it's a little bit overcast. It's been off and on raining all morning, so we're actually gonna head home after this just because a lot of the stuff that we were gonna do is outdoor stuff, but there's rain coming in. Um, but while it's not raining, we thought we would walk across to see the park over there. I don't know, I just really hope they don't throw up their Starbucks because that would be a waste of good Starbucks. Oh yeah, sure, that too. Oh dear. Oh dear. She's gonna fly out the hole at the bottom. Wyatt's smart. He's in the center, so the spin is actually less. The, what is it? The centrifugal force? I don't even know if that's Is thing. more. It is a thing. Centrifugal force. It's the force of when you're like being spun like that. You're, you spin faster, feel like you're being spun faster the further out you are from the center. Knowledge.